forward to seeing Max on the ball, when, to our horror, it turns out to be something else altogether. Oh no! Yeah! But all is not as it seems. The big buck actually has hold of the dog, not the other way around. As Greg runs in, we realise this could get dangerous. Let it go, dogs. Let's go. The other dog's coming. Well, we're not sure what's going on here, but the Roo has the dog, not the other way around. Max calmly waits for his owner to come and help. The Buck Roo sees the odds stacking against him and tries to gut the dog with his claws one last time. His powerful arms anchor the dog by the breastplate as Max doubles his efforts to escape. Finally, the Roo switches his attention to Tonks and sizes up the human to be his next victim. Tonks gives the kangaroo his space but the cranky buck comes forward, ready to attack. To save himself, he launches a right hand to the kangaroo's snout. The punch swivels the roo's head as he throws his claws out to grapple and gouge. Then they eye each other off. Tonks makes the right decision again and backs off, leaving the buck stunned as to what has just taken place. He continues to stand his ground, like he has done many times before when fighting for breeding rights against other big boomers like himself. 